I just wanted to say I'm very, very, very sad about Leo and the Stitch this series not getting 60 as they could possible. I mean, in December, t I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't care about other shows like Buzz Lightyear's Dark Community, we don't hear those getting 60 episodes in this. I think it's here's a pretty good run showing us like all these different uh, heroes that could in 60 episodes, but. Uh, well, I'm just very sad it's waiting for the to stitch the series because uh, you know, on December 29th, 2005, Kim Possible became the first uh, animated Disney Channel series to break the 65 uh, episode production limit because, limit because of how popular it was. And Phineas and Ferb, Star Wars The Horses of Evil, and uh, Big City Greens uh, followed. Ex Followed in Kim Possible's footsteps. They were also very popular. Their uh, beloved, profitable series that have been allowed to pass 65 episodes after Kim Possible did. And I bring all this up because. Uh, well, because I think Lilo, and St I, I, I don't think I know Lilo and Stitch deserve to go on much longer than sixty-five episodes. <coughs> yeah, you know it had a much longer shelf life than Higley Town Heroes and No Playhouse Disney Show, and well, be because, well, a few reasons. One. There are literally like 628 other, 624 other experiments that, that uh, Stitch and 625, who Leo named Ruben and, Lee, and Leroy and Stitch could, uh, could go find, you know, and then Angel, the one preceding them, obviously was 624. Uh, you know. Yeah, the 628 different experiments, you know, yeah, there's also 627, 628 after. Stitch the experiment six two six. Two. Um. Yeah. So yeah. One. Well, yeah. There's just yeah six twenty with six hundred twenty different experiments to find. They could have, you know, Leland and Stitch could get the series could get just as much mileage out of Lilo and Stitch Gantu and six two five finding. I mean, th these experiments, as. Uh, Fanny's and Ferb got out of the out of the boys. Fanny's and Ferb making big ideas to uh, make their summer very fun, and uh, and Doctor Doofenshmirtz coming up with silly evil plots to take over his tri-state area. Two. I know Lilo and Stitch must have been uh, one of Walt Disney Animation's most popular franchises in the 2000s because you know it's got. Uh, Two, it's got two movies, less that, uh, you know, the second one happening, you know, the one with Dakota Fanning taking over, Dobby Chase, you know, who's very busy with all of her Lilo lines in the series, with a slightly higher pitched voice that sounded close enough, I guess. Yeah, Le yeah, Stitch has a glitch, and then there's those two movies that, uh, then there's this two like a TV, you know, it's the first, it's like the second sequel, it's really the, like chronologically the first sequel, the Stitch has a glitch one, and then, yeah, there's a movie preceding, there are these other two like TV movies or like two video movies like that, that precede, you know, there's this one that, that starts up the series, uh, which is uh, Stitch, the movie, and then after the series, when they've caught all the other, when... They found all the other 626 experiments. There's Leroy and Stitch. That's the chronological ending for the Lilo and Stitch series. And I know Lilo and Stitch is a, and on top of that, yeah, it had four. It had two regular movies. Uh, you know, the second I guess being a directed DVD movie. Other two other movies that lesser movies. You know, with that, with the. Uh, TV animation budget that uh, you know began and end the series, and you know because it was funny when 
it was funny when they, you know, Disney promoted Lilo and Stitch by, you know, with these uh, crossover gags, you know, inserting Stitch into iconic scenes from Lady and the Tramp or the Little Mermaid. Uh, yeah, the second season had four different crossovers with other with Recess and uh, three other Disney Channel cartoons from the 2000s that were designed as a five-fingered universe. So now five of them share the same five-fingered cartoon universe. Yeah, that's how I that's how I distinguish. Yeah, the, the, that's how I distinguish. You know. Cartoons with that style that draw characters with five fingered hands from cartoons that draw characters with four fingered hands. It's why all those okay Kyo, let's be heroes crossovers mess with their brain too much. Not just because, not only because it's a four fingered animated series that has a lot of different crossovers with five fingered cartoons like the Scooby Doo, the Ghoul School, or Captain Planet, the Planet Tears, but because they, uh, but because they give all the characters a complete redesign, you can barely recognize them as the same character from a different show or film, you know. Luckily, Lilo and Stitch the series didn't do that, and the characters still look the same as they do in the in the other animated shows they were originally from. Yeah, Lilo and Stitch had crossovers with in the second season, crossovers with Recess, American Dragon, Jake Long, The Proud Family, and my most favorite one of the four Lilo and Stitch crossover episodes, Kim Possible. So, a Disney Channel series with this much clout that came from a movie has no right to be canned at just 65 episodes when one of its crossover buddies actually uh, got to got won the privilege of being the first to pass 65 episodes. You know, I spoke to Alec Impossible a lot of, about this at the 2018 Ronin Con, and she said that while she doesn't usually watch Lilo and Stitch as the series as much as she watches Impossible, she did see the Rufus crossover episode. That was cool, and you know, it's it's an interesting dynamic, you know, Rufus is the stitch to Impossible's Leo. Like, both shows actually have a lot more in common than you think. You know, I just know today when we're watching them that, you know, Lilo and, you know, Lilo and Stitch or Impossible Rufus have a lot of, of, uh, cool, uh, intergalactic or inter uh, international adventures in Kim's case or, Intergalactic Adventures in Leo's case, and but but they also have their own, but they also have their own sitcom arch nemesis to put up with back home, uh, Myrtle Edmonds and Lilo and Stitch, who is complete opposite of uh, that other kid, Lilian and Moomy Boys and Hilly Don't Heroes Twinkle, and uh, Bonnie Rockwaller in Impossible. But yeah, um. Yeah, I'm just really sad about. As you know, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I think Lilo and Stitch definitely deserves another forty or sixty-five episodes to, you know, to have them catch more. To have them catch more experiments, because I studied the I studied the numbers four years ago, out of all. 628 experiments that have been seen or mentioned in Lilo and Stitch before Leroy and Stitch. We only got to see it. We only got to know about, like, we only got to see 116 of them. So there's 512 experiments that have been left unexplored. And that's very disappointing to me because I'd really love to see, like, a, you know, maybe a new series finale before Leroy and Stitch where we get to see experiment 628 after, you know, the cliffhanger that was hinted at the end of the 627 episode, so 628 is the last experiment before Leroy. And I'd really love to see Lilo and Stitch an episode about Shrink Experiment 001, since, I mean, after all the Japanese Stitch spinoff that replaced Lilo already had, did an episode with him or her, and that 86 episode of three seasons. So, you know, that, that makes me, I'm just really, that makes me doubly insulted, you know? Uh... I mean, you know, how did that have 86 episodes in, you know, three seasons and, but not the original American Leland Stitch series? <sighs> you know, and it's these Japanese and Chinese uh, spinoffs that, uh, 
separated stitch from Lilo and that separated stitch from Lilo and uh, gave him a localized replacement Lilo first you know Yuna for 86 episodes and then Eiling for 13 episodes. It just make me feel really sad, but I'm just thankful that none of the original voice actors are involved in the English dub. Ben Diskin from Cody and Kinzik's store in Kindergarten Cop replaces Chris Sanders for the voice of Stitch. I know Chris Sanders would never, and David Tees would never want to waste his time with these shows. That's why Melissa Fun is the new Lilo. <sighs> you know, this, but yeah, I'm also insulted by the Japanese, you know, it's you know, at least the, the Chinese one is better because, you know, at least its characters look more like the ones from the original, its character designs that look more like the original series, and it's 13 episodes, so it doesn't really last too long. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, saying it's because of what the Japanese, how the Japanese Stitch Panel Butcher Leo's character when it finally had her show up in the third season and explain why Stitch got away from her. You know, Lilo, uh, was... You know, Lilo wanted to uh, meet Stitch again. You know, after Lilo, when Lilo grew up, she wanted to meet Stitch again after college. But then, Nani was having a baby, and that's why she didn't go see Stitch where they were supposed to meet each other. And then, but... You know, it's just really very sad. It's something very heartbreaking, because... When Ani, you know, the daughter of the now grown up uh, Lilo, uh, when Ani sees Stitch, she really wants to, she really wants to, uh, she really wants to play with him, but sadly that Lilo isn't really interested in, Lilo didn't seem very interested in seeing Stitch again, with a flimsy excuse that, you know, he must have a whole new family by now, and I wouldn't want to, I, I, I wouldn't want to, uh, you know, make things uh, awkward with them. I think that's what she said. Um, well, it was, it was something like that. It was really sad. I mean, there's no way Lilo would give up on Stitch this easily because, you know, Stitch was, before she met Victoria in Swamper, you know, Stitch was her first childhood companion. You know, the first new... Uh, Emotional attachment to after her and nice parents uh, died in a car accident in a rainstorm. You know, and that, you know, Leo's feelings toward Stitch shouldn't really. about Stitch, her emotional attachment shouldn't wane just because she has her own family now, because I'm sure Ani would love to play with Stitch. This, it's a really depressing reunion because it's like she fell into the growing up zone. It didn't help that this crossover also featured an experiment from another one of the original show's crossovers, the one with American Dragon Jake Long. Yeah, the growing up zone from the Great North. I have a new version of that song I'd like to sing for Lilo and Stitch. Experiments, aliens, Kimron and Rufus. Oh, let me think. Oh, let me think. Oh, yeah. Experiments, aliens, Kimron and Rufus. Experiments, aliens, Kimron and Rufus. These were her childhood friends. Myrtle thought Lilo was a doofus for playing with them. But one day she lost it and she couldn't see why she should pass him down to her daughter, Ani. Mm
But one day she grew up and she couldn't see why she should pass in to her daughter, Ani. She accidentally... I just remember, okay, let me try this again. Experiments, aliens, Kimron and Rufus. These were Lilo's childhood friends. Myrtle thought she was a doofus for playing with them. But one day she grew up and she couldn't see. I mean... But one day she lost it and she couldn't see why she should pass him to her daughter, Ani. She accidentally left Stitch all alone. Hmm. Moved on and moved on when she fell into the grown-up zone. We don't wanna forget the word, oh, Hana. Where are my childhood friends? Family means no one gets left behind except for Dave Chase. Except Dave Chase in a heartbroken bind. Her fate after big love is left unknown. Her fate after big love. Currently unknown. Has Dave been chased down into? Mm, I mean. Has Dave been chased into hiding? Has, I, has Dave been chased to hiding into the grown up zone? It's a real bummer, too. I mean, I'd love to see. You know, I really think either Disney Channel or Disney Plus owes Lilo and Stitch a third season because I'd love to see it make 100 episodes or 105 episodes if not 130 I mean yeah it would be nice to see it there's definitely enough mileage and what experiments to be found to to uh to uh you know have more experiments that um definitely lots of mileage for you know more experiments to be found in 100 episodes and some new up and possibly you know have making some new episodes between Snafu and Leroy and Stitch that uh, that uh, you know that feature Angel and Victoria a little more often and uh, you know and between I mean after all but between Raven's Home Monsters at Work and the Proud Family, Louder and Prouder, a reboot of The Proud Family on Disney+. Plus. The Proud Family, one of those four Disney Channel series that had a crossover with Leland Stitch in its second season. Yeah, I definitely think Leland Stitch's writers, if if they got, if Disney Channel or Disney Plus wanted to revive their show, could crank out a third, maybe even a fourth season, since Face and Furbin Star Brazil were, like, were good enough for that. You know, I'd love to, uh, you know, I, I don't know. You know, I feel very about Dave. I mean, last we've heard of her was like in 2011, until she got arrested for driving stolen car in 2017 and drug paraphernalia in 2018. And it must have been hard for life for her. But you know, I, I still think I, I still believe. I mean, it's it's okay if she doesn't want to act after she's 21 years old. But it, I, there's a distinct possibility that after big after she was done with Big Love, the 
knowing what ha maybe she knew what happened in the 2011 Stitch anime episode reunion with Leo and that broke her heart more than it broke mine. But if she has other reasons she doesn't want to act anymore, that she shouldn't use that. I, you know, she could just, you know, I don't want her to use Stitch anime as an excuse to, to stop acting. But, you know, I think if Leo and Stitch did get revived on Disney Plus or Disney Channel, I would love it if I'd love to have her and uh, Chris Sanders and the rest of the surviving cast together again. Rest in peace, David Ogden stars who voiced Jumba and you know, Regis Philbin who played himself in the drowsy episode. But yeah, I, I really miss Lily Little Stitch, the series with all my heart, and that's that's why I believe it deserves a third season since Tangled in Big Hero 6 already got that, even though they technically had the same number of episodes or less than Lilo and Stitch the series had. And they made short seasons, so... Uh... <sighs> and even though Phineas and Ferb, Gravity Falls, Wonder Beyond, Star Wars, The Forces of Evil, Big Secret Greens, and Amphibia have definitely kept me very entertained with Disney Channel over the years, I still really wanted some emotional closure with Lilo and Stitch, and I'd love it if, like, maybe if they made another 39 episode season, you know, it could be extended to 40 episodes, because I'd love it if they had a two-part finale with, uh, you know, where Lilo actually, where Lilo doesn't uh, lose Stitch and she passes him down to Ani, and the experiments I'd really love to see get episodes the most are, uh, from the credits of Lilo and Stitch, like, uh, list, are, like, Les Dixia, Trickster, that's Experiment 100, and Tenderizer, Pufferizer, Past Hole, and Future Hole. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like Lilo and Stitch. I know Davia Chase might not want to voice Lilo again, even if she could, even if she could still do Lilo's voice now because she's not Hawaiian, but, you know, that's okay. I think Peyton Elizabeth Lee would make a very suitable replacement for Lilo's voice if they were, con if my wish came true to continue the show after, after 2020. Goodbye, folks. I hope you care about Lilo and Stitch like I do. Just want to get this off my chest.